back talk family and thank you so much for joining me on another episode of talk the talk i'm your host sharnal bauer and joining me today is tumi hanyaho and i just learned that surname means the one that shines and she definitely shines and she is the sales executive at Bidwest McCarthy Toyota Hatfield. Now, Tumi is a resilient, hardworking young woman who strives to give her best and goes above and beyond for each and every customer, as well as her colleagues. As a sales executive, Tumi is very passionate about women empowerment in the motor industry. So, without further ado, let's welcome Tumi. And as always, this interview is proudly brought to you by Ceruti Solutions, MFC, and Evo by NetBank. Hi, Tumi. Hi, Nella. How are Thank you? Thank you so much for coming and joining us today. Thank you so much for having me. It's a pleasure. Yes. Tumi, um, we would like you to share your journey with us and the viewers. Um, in the motor industry, how it started and where you are now. Okay, so it all started when I was working at C-Track. I was doing um, dealer fittings. And obviously, as you start speaking to people, you know, the people that you um, deal with daily, somebody told me that, hey, you know, you've got such a great personality. Maybe you could actually sell cars. And I'm like, oh, sell cars? All right, <laughs> let's try this, you know. And yeah. there was an opening. I went for an interview and that's where it all started. So I started at Mazda 2017, worked there for a year and 2018 I got approached by my current manager Hendrik and yeah, he gave me an offer. I wasn't looking but obviously I looked at the comms and everything. It came your way. <laughs> Absolutely. And I was like, okay, Toyota is a great brand, you know, it literally sells itself. Yes. So I might as well just, you know, I took a leap of faith and here we are. Yeah, you are. So I've been there amazing. five years. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah. And you definitely have the personality <laughs> for <you>. a sales <laughs> executive. <laughs> Thank you. So, uh, to me, you are a nominee for the Motoring Women of the Year Award for 2023, yes. and I can already see you so <laughs> excited about it. <laughs> and I'm so glad that you have made the decision to accept your nomination and join this movement and this initiative. So, tell us, how do you feel about our initiatives? I am absolutely delighted, to put it mildly. So obviously, um, being a young lady in the motoring industry is a bit daunting. And um, once you get to a stage where you are able to actually um, get to such a point of being nominated, it means that you're, giving, you're showing other people that, hey, it's actually possible. You know, yes. There's so many young ladies who actually would like to do what we're doing, but they're not sure exactly how to start or where to begin. Yes. So initiatives such as this, literally, you know, they make it so much easier for us to actually just be out there. Yes, that's exactly what we, we're trying yeah. to do. We're trying to show the young women and ladies out there that it is possible. Absolutely. So I'm going to throw a curveball in here and ask you if you could live anywhere in the world, where would it be? Okay, so um, I'm not an extensive traveler, but through my work, I do traveling, obviously for deliveries and so forth, because I do yeah. deliver outside of, um, you know, Pretoria. Mm. But I think Pretoria is the perfect place. I, I love Gauteng. Um, obviously, it is the hub for making money. And it's also a place which is alive with possibilities. So if you could start anywhere, live anywhere, want to do anything, you literally need to start where you live. Wow. You, you can't go anywhere else because you don't know much about that area. Yes. So exactly where you are is the perfect place to actually live. And once you've done whatever that you feel you can do, then you can actually move on. So wanna, that's how I feel. Yes, you want to stay where your roots are. Absolutely. That's wonderful. Yeah. And what motivates you to work hard? Apart from money. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Don't we all love money? <laughs> we absolutely do. Um, but it's just being able to, 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 to make people happy. Just being part of people's experience. Mm. You know, giving them that key. It, it really brings so much joy. I love just seeing the smile on people's faces, you know. Yeah. Um, and just me having a daughter just makes me feel that, you know what, I need to make sure that this girl can see how much hard work 
one puts in as a mother and, and as a woman. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, I think that's what motivates me a lot, my family and just creating relationships with customers. I, I, I love my customers. Like, it's not just a handover and that's it. Yes. You know, if I'm in an area where they live, I go and I check them. So that's, that's, that's what my vibe is. You have to have the passion and the passion not only for selling, but the passion for people as well. Absolutely. Like you said, that brings you so much joy and that's what drives you. So speaking about that, um, there is days where we face where you just don't feel like you know uh -huh. doing this delivery or attending to this customer or you know something is happening within you that you just don't feel it today but how important is it to keep a positive mental state of mind in the workplace and personally so Nella, this is extremely vital because whatever actions you take or however you feel mm -hmm. it literally goes and it's got a ripple effect it goes to the next person it goes to the people that you're working with yes. so on days where i really do not feel like working i literally i have to pray about it you know i ask for wow. positive energy and i ask for god to just strengthen me because i have to deliver i have mm -hmm. to make sure that i make this person stay and even if things are not going well i have an obligation to inform the customer mm -hmm. you know just to say listen this is how we had planned things but unfortunately we were facing challenges but mm -hmm. please just bear with me i just need to let you know so that we can actually make sure that at the end we've got a perfect end results yes you so, have to find the solution to the problem or the absolutely. situation that you're facing so prayer number one and just your normal mantras you know time out and just you know amp myself up and just say girl you've got this you know you've got yeah. work to do yeah. so that's that's how i basically it's, just deal with you know that negative energy it's not always easy but it does get hard you, you know? do get through it at the end of the day Absolutely. and it's so important to do that it's so important just to take a refresher take a break recoup yourself recoup your thoughts and go on with the day absolutely yeah and what do you you know being in the motor industry for quite a few years now mm -hmm. um what changes would you feel could be made small or big you know in any in, in your environment honestly nella um i think the changes are actually coming um mm. because we're seeing a lot more women yes there's a lot more dealer uh, dealer principles a lot more managers so when you see someone that you know that you've worked with actually you know climbing the ladder mm. then it kind of you know tells you that okay well we will get there we're yes. getting there um but for now um i think they slowly but surely coming I, I don't have anything that i can literally put on the top of my head mm. but i think we're well on our way to to, to getting you know a woman on the on, on the platform that they deserve to be awesome yeah. i definitely agree with that um with that being said have you faced any unusual discriminatory situations um and how did you deal with it or even if you haven't faced any how would you deal with it when it comes your way um within the workplace with my colleagues not really mm. because i answer for myself obviously and but it's mostly with customers where they just see a young lady short and they think to themselves does this one know what they're doing mm. um so that has been the challenge that i've had and the way that i dealt with it is just i made sure that i equip myself with information yes. so when the customer sits and we start talking and i ask them about their needs and all of that um, I try to give solutions. I give more information that they actually had imagined. Mm. So that's how I actually kind of beat the situation. Yes, you have to change their mindset, you know, about it and show them that you know, you actually know what you're doing and what you're saying. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. So being outspoken as well does also, um, you know, count in my favor. Yes, no, so. you, I can definitely see you're very, you've got a strong personality, you <laughs> out there, you, you're confident, you go at it. So I can definitely see you overwinning some customers <laughs> that have some <laughs> doubt in their minds about you. Yeah, we try, we try. To me, is there any words of advice that you would like to leave our viewers out there any young girls young women or even women that is already working in the motor industry words of encouragement basically mm. um 
ladies just keep on keep on keeping on there's so much space that we need to fill up as ladies it's not a man's world let's just do this and yeah that's that's what i think that's um the little that i can say for now <laughs> <laughs> yeah to me i have had such a wonderful time getting to know you and uh, i thank you for coming and i thank you for being here and accepting your nomination and being part of this movement and this initiative and helping us trying to change the narrative out there thank you so much people know that you know women are strong and we can do it thank you so much to you and the team and the viewers as well thank you once again thank you viewers we would like to thank you for your continued support and encourage you to like and share our content our non-profit companies the motoring woman of the year awards powered by mfc and evo by netbank and the talk the talk studios sponsored by seriti solutions and evo by netbank are platforms aimed at empowering uplifting and celebrating the women of motoring south africa we are not just telling stories we are changing lives if you are searching for a new or pre-owned vehicle please visit www.auto.evo.africa we have a wide range of vehicles on sale for you to choose from and we only advertise on behalf of reliable and trustworthy MFC accredited dealerships. This car listing portal is user friendly and you can also find vehicle reviews, car maintenance tips and automotive advice or courtesy of Talk the Talk Studios. Ladies, I want to end off this wonderful session by leaving you with the following. We all need motivation. It is in the force behind our internal propulsion. When you are motivated, you can do things that might have seemed unattainable before. In our daily lives, we can see that inspiration is necessary for us to achieve great things. It is possible for anyone to feel inspired. All of us are capable of improving ourselves. You just need to find what inspires you so you can become the best possible version of yourself. Education needs inspiration, not just information. Only inspired human beings can transform their own lives and lives around them. And that's a quote from Sadhguru. And with that, I would like to remind you that the question should never be, who's going to lead me? It should always be, who's going to stop me?